Mahamudra Samchamita Mahamudra in Brief by Matripa I pay homage to the state of great bliss and I shall describe the Mahamudra. All phenomena are one's own mind. Seeing outer objects is the delusion of the mind. Like a dream they are empty. The mind also is just the movement of memory and cognition, without a real nature, like the power of the wind. It is as empty of essence as space. All phenomena are equal, like space. That is called the Mahamudra. In essence, can't be taught. Therefore, the nature of the mind does not change or alter from the nature of Mahamudra. If anyone truly realizes the truth, all appearances and existence will be the Mahamudra, the great all-pervading Dharmakaya. Rest in naturalness, the uncontrived nature. The Dharmakaya cannot be thought of. Meditate by resting without seeking. Meditate by seeking is the deluded mind. There is neither meditation nor non-meditation. Just like manifestations in space. So how can there be freedom or non-freedom? The yogin who has that realization, through knowing this, will be liberated from the karma of all good and bad actions. The defilements are great wisdoms. Like fire in forest, they are the yogin's companion. Where can there be going and staying? Residing in the hermitage, what meditation can there be? One who does not realize that will not be liberated from even the temporary. What could bind one who has realized that? Dwelling undistracted within that state, there will be no alteration of body <coughs> or speech and no meditation, neither resting <coughs> nor not resting in equanimity. Nothing has any reality within this. Know that whatever appears has no nature of its own. Appearances are all self-liberating, are the Dharma Dhatu. Realization is self-liberated, is great wisdom. The equal non-duality is the Dharmakaya. Like the continuous flow of a great river, however it abides, it has meaning. It is always Buddhahood. Without the objects of samsara, it is great bliss. All phenomena are devoid of their own essence. The intellect that grasps emptiness becomes spontaneously purified. In the intellect, free mind, there is nothing to be done. That is the path of all the Buddhas. I have summarized this essential teaching for those who are perfectly worthy. Through this, may all beings without exception reside in the Mahamudra. This completes the summary of Matripa's Mahamudra. This came from the mouth of that Pandita and was translated by Marpa the Translator.